In this video, I'm going to teach you how to train the LoRa for the new Z Image Turbo model. If you're already familiar with my diffusion pipe template, you should feel right at home. But if not, let me quickly walk you through the process of deploying and actually training the model. Now, before we start, click on the link in the description. It should take you to this deployment screen. And before you deploy any GPU, make sure to go to additional filters and filter by CUDA version 12.8 and 12.9. Now to selecting your GPU, I do prefer to go with a GPU that is a bit strong, so I like to go with the H200, but since the Z Image Turbo model is quite small, then you can go with uh, a GPU like the 5090 or the L40S or the Pro 6000 or any model that is above 32 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, as I said, I like to go with the H200, Make sure that the correct template is selected. So lower training diffusion pipe all in one. Scroll all the way down and click deploy on demand. Once you do that, go back to the pods menu and you should see that your template starts deploying. Go to the logs and you should wait for the following to show. Um, once you see JupyterLab is running and accessible via the web interface, you can go to the connect tab and click on JupyterLab. Now, in JupyterLab, you're going to have some folders on the left side. The folder that you care about most now is the image dataset here folder. This is where you load in your dataset. Now, you can see that my dataset is already captioned, but if yours is not, you can just load in images and there is automatic captioning in the template. I will cover that in a second. Once the dataset is loaded in, go back to the main directory and click on Terminal, type bash, Make sure that you are, you are in the diffusion pipe working folder and then type bash again, enter and tab to autocomplete and it should autocomplete to interactive start training.sh. Once it's done, click enter and you should be greeted with this screen. Now you can see that there are a few models to select from, but we are training the Z image turbo model. So I'm going to go with number seven. And then it's going to ask me whether I want to caption my images or videos. Now, mine is already captioned, but I'm going to show you how to caption images anyway. So I'm going to select images. Then it's going to ask me for a trigger word. Now, make sure that the trigger, trigger word for your LoRa is something unique that the AI is not likely to understand. So if your character is named Alex, probably the... AI model Z Image Turbo already has the word Alex in its dataset, probably relating to a celebrity or something like that. So make sure that the trigger word is unique. So if your character name is Alex, you can just type Alex01, Alex02, Alex Char, or whatever comes to mind and is not Char, sorry, or whatever comes to mind and is not likely to be identified by the AI as something that it already knows. So I'm going to go with Alex Char. And then it's going to download the captioning model and actually caption the images. Now, this can take 5 to 20 minutes, but once the process is complete, uh, the image captioning is complete because uh, the image captioning is complete because I already have captions. But if you don't, it's going to take 5 to 20 minutes. Uh, and then make sure that all the captions uh, show up in the image dataset here folder. Uh, for those of you who don't know, images are TXT files that have the same name as your images. Okay, perfect. Now, before we actually start the training, let's quickly review the training parameters. Now, these are parameters that, in my opinion, are optimized for character creation. But if you do want to change those parameters, go back to the main directory, to the diffusion pipe fol folder, examples, and you can modify the Z image toml or the dataset toml files you can change the epoch number, save every, uh, save every epoch, uh, learning rate, rank, etc., etc. If you do, if you do want to modify these files, make sure that you select the number two. Pause here. I'll modify the files, the files manually, but I'm gonna go with the default settings. Then it's going to ask you whether you reviewed the image captions and ready to proceed. I'm gonna say yes. Then it's going to actually start the training. Now. It's going to take some time, depends on the number of epochs, the number of images in your data set. But once the training is complete, go back to the main directory. It's going to show you in the log that the training is complete. And the LoRa files should be in the output folder 
Z image LoRa is just going to have a folder with a date and you're going to have all your epochs right here. So I currently have a job running and I'm saving every 10 epochs. So I already have the first two epochs. You can just click on the folder. The safe tensors file is the file that you're after. You can just simply right click and download the file to download it to your own computer and then move it to wherever you want. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.